Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to refund a game or application that you've purchased from the App Store. So this is going to be a similar process as if you're doing it on an iPhone or an iPad, but today we're going to be doing it on a Mac desktop and we're doing this on a MacBook Pro. And what I'm going to do today is to purchase a game and then complete a refund and just show you how this entire process works. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to do is to purchase a game or application and specifically going to buy a Mac version of a game just to show you how this works. So here we're going to purchase the game Limbo and what I'm going to do is to press the purchase button here and press buy app. So of course, if you're looking at this tutorial, then you've probably purchased a game or application that you want to refund already, but I'm just going to show you how this process works with a recently purchased app. So here we're going to authenticate and we're going to download and buy Limbo. So that's been authenticated with my fingerprint and this is now completing the download process. So this is downloaded the game straight away. So basically once that download's complete, we have this open button here. I'm just gonna to prove to you that you can open the game. This is now loaded up. We're gonna open this up and I'm gonna start a new game. So as you can see, we can move around, I can jump and we're playing the game that we've just purchased. And what I'm gonna do now is press escape. I wanna quit Limbo. And now the game has quit. So what we want to do now is to issue a refund for this game. So to do that, what we're going to do is to minimize the App Store. And then what I've done is to open up the Safari web browser. And then within the web address, what we're going to do is type in reportaproblem.apple.com. So I'll leave a link to this in the description and then I'm going to press return. And here it's going to ask us to authenticate and then log in with our Apple ID. I'm using a Mac with Touch ID. So I'm gonna use my fingerprint to authenticate or if you don't have Touch ID, you can just, you can press cancel here and then you can type in your Apple ID and then password and then log into this page. So we're just gonna allow two-factor authentication, press allow and use the code that pops up. So now that's logging in and then we can press continue here to family sharing. So now we have the game listed here, which I've just purchased and downloaded, Limbo, which is $8.99. And what I wanna do is to get a refund for this game. So what I wanna do is to tap on this drop down menu here, and I'm gonna select this button, which says request a refund. So I'm gonna tap on this, and then I'm gonna go to this drop down and say here, what you do here is to answer truthfully. I'm gonna say here, my purchase does not work as expected. Press next. Then I'm gonna select the game that I just purchased. Then we're gonna press submit. So now it's saying here, your request has been submitted, allow 48 hours for an update. So if you wanted to, you can always check this report problem at apple.com again. You can also press this check status of claims. And what we have here is a refund request and it's pending. So just wait for that to complete and then your refund will be completed. As far as I'm aware, Apple's policy is that you have a right of cancellation if you make a purchase within 14 days with any specific reason. The actual time frame for the refund request isn't particularly well understood. If you do intend to make a refund, make sure to do it as quickly as possible. So it's been just under 24 hours and it looks like the decision on the refund request has just been emailed through. It says that the Apple credit has been returned for my order number here. So I'm gonna receive a refund for this particular return. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.